Well, hello, everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, it's late at night. Rosemary and I are in Los Angeles. We have just arrived. We have traveled for 19 hours today. That's right, 19 hours. And the, there have been all sorts of delays. We've had to board a plane and then a little while later had to get off the same plane because they found out there were storms in the place that we were going to be. And, they were, and that took hours to wait out. Then we went somewhere else catching a connecting flight. But that plane was delayed by a number of hours. We have just had a day. And I couldn't help but think as I was going through the day that I could get frustrated, and it is frustrating. Anybody who's travelled, we all know what the delays are like. Or I could celebrate the fact that in every place I am, God is with me. At the recent mission event in Chicago, some people asked me the question, a question that I've been asked many times about how I finish the daily devotional. Don't forget God is never far from you. And the reality is no matter what we're going through in life, no matter what we're experiencing in life, God really is with us, no matter where we are, no matter what we're going through. In the book of Jeremiah, it says in chapter 23, verse 24, this is the verse that has really come to me in my prayer of late, and I've been spending some time praying through. And and even though it's very obvious, and the point I'm going to make today Every one of you is going to say to me, but I already know that. There's nothing new there. And it's not new for me either, but it's touched me in a very deep, in a much deeper way. And it says this, who can hide in secret places so that I cannot see them, says the Lord. Do I not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord. Again, look at it again. Who can hide in secret places so that I cannot see them, says the Lord. Do I not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord? Who can hide in secret places? The reality is is that uh, it has just hit me so much, uh, so strongly in the last couple of days, the presence of God. The presence of God when life is wonderful. The presence of God when life is full of challenges. And, and, and that, that we are surrounded by an almighty mighty God who says, who can hide in secret places that I cannot see them? I've met people who said, I'm kind of hiding from God. <laughs> the reality is you can't. I've met people say, I don't want to address things because, you know, I can't face them. But God is already facing them. There is no thing that God is not there with. And when you begin to live with that sense of the presence of God with you all the time, that there is that I can't hide at any time from him, it, I, the, the thing that strikes me is, so therefore, how should I live? How do I live in that constant presence of God? Now, I realise saying that God is everywhere, there's not one of you and even me that doesn't already know that. And yet there's this deeper level of surrender of our life that comes by saying that God is with us. There's the very famous passage of Scripture um, uh, that that says, Psalm 139, O Lord, you have searched me and you have known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with, Uh, with all my work. If you go down to verse 7, it says, where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? The truth is we can't go anywhere without the presence of God. And so the question that in my prayer I've been praying, I've known that my whole life. But how is that impacting me today when planes don't turn up, when storms come, when things don't work out the way they should? When I hear fantastic news from people about people who've experienced miracles in their life. I got a beautiful letter today from someone from the parish that I attend, Good Shepherd Parish, uh, talking about how they had been blessed by certain things that have happened in the parish. And it was very, it was really wonderful to hear. And, and I hear all of these amazing things and, and, it, and it strikes me. It strikes me so tremendously. Uh, the presence of God. How are we meant to live with that sense that he's always around us? 
that we don't have to fear God ever finding out something because he already knows. That on our side, God is always there for us to talk with and have conversation with. When my children were young, as any of us who've had parents, there are many things that children can't do. And so they inevitably come to you, whether it's <clears throat> opening the lid of a glass jar that's too too, too tight or lifting up something that's heavy or picking them up high so they can see something. There are things they can't do and they come to you all the time and they ask. And they and as or parents know, grandparents know, kids live around you and if you move, they move. And, and, and in the same way, we're meant to be like those little children with God. Jesus said, come to me uh, and be like a little child. That to live in the presence of God is incredibly important. And so that verse again says, who can hide in secret places so that I cannot see them? You can't play hide and seek with God. He knows where you are all the time. Uh, Do I not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord. Lord is, our God is so vast that all of the heavens and all of the earth are filled. So in your prayer today, ask yourself the question, how am I living with God's presence with me? Now, some people get frightened because they think to themselves, well, you know, God sees all the wrong things that I'm doing. Turn it the other way. You know, that might be true, but turn it the other way and stop and say, what are all the good things that are happening in my life? And how might God be at work in all of those things as well? He's there all of the time. That really has, it's, it's not something new, but it has touched me in a, such a deeper way in recent days. Loving Father, we pray that your presence would surround us more deeply. Father, come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Father, we make this prayer in Jesus' name through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm in Los Angeles for a number of meetings that uh, I'll be had in the next day or so. Uh, thank you for all your prayers, for all of you who are praying for us as we're traveling. I'm looking forward to to doing the daily devotionals again back in our recording facilities with all of my staff around me who can set it up and make it look better than I can and can make everything work better than I can. But hey, we're trying. Hey, God bless you. See you tomorrow. And don't forget wherever you are, God's never, ever, ever far from you.